Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Welcome if you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. We're gonna be looking at what's coming, what's coming your way in love. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate for every Gemini that watches this video. So take what applies to you, what resonates for you. For Gemini, spirit, angels, gods, what guidance, what messages do you have for Gemini regarding love? What does Gemini need to know, spirit? What does Gemini need to know? regarding love what can gemini expect in love what can gemini expect in love what can gemini expect in love let's see what we get for you gemini what's going on for gemini in love the star reverse aquarius energy five of swords reverse and the two of wands Hmm. Overall energy, page of pentacles reverse, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Two of wands, um, waiting on a decision, waiting before making a decision, choosing a path. Five of Swords reverse is kind of overcoming difficulties, overcoming uh, conflict. The Star reverse, Aquarius energy, I think I already said that. Um, it's about kind of losing faith, feeling hopeless, needing to heal, needing more healing. So I'm not sure if this is your energy here or the energy of the person you are or will be involved with. Can I get some more insight into the, okay. Secret admirer, burning passion and hidden motives. So someone's hiding how they feel here, despite the fact that there is interest, burning passion, there's chemistry, there's a need. Burdened heart at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Someone's really suppressing their feelings. This is what I'm getting. They're ignoring how they feel, but at the same time, they're keeping tabs on you, Gemini. They're interested in you and what you have going on. I feel like this person has to wear a mask or feels like they have to wear a mask. Um, Where is all of this headed? The Empress, Knight of Wands reverse, the Chariot reverse. Okay, so again, no movement here. Um, Cancer energy with the Chariot. So Gemini, if you're new to my channel, again, welcome. Welcome to the Gemini roller coaster. <laughs> but um, Geminis have been getting this energy of stag stag being stagnant, not making moves that they want to make, feeling stuck. I feel like the Empress is upright because there's still potential here for growth. There's something that's being manifested or being invested in, or there's potential to invest in something and seeing it grow, seeing it, you know, grow into something abundant and beautiful. But it's not there yet. And I, I just keep waiting for the turnaround for Gemini. When are things going to turn around for Gemini? That's what I've been waiting for. And that's kind of what I feel is for every Gemini, obviously, it's different. Not everybody's going to have the same situation, the same delays, the same obstacles. Um, so I can't really pinpoint what exactly it is, but I think this is down to a decision here that someone hasn't made. Um, so let's get some clarity here. Can we get some clarity, some insight for Gemini? Now the overall energy is the Page of Pentacles reversed. So this is an offer that is delayed, has not been delivered, um, some sort of small opportunity that is blocked perhaps. So we're gonna start there. I want to start there and see what that's all about. Tell me about the page of pentacles reverse. 
for Gemini. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? Seven of Pentacles. Another card about kind of waiting. Someone is worried about the outcome, worried about the result. What else for the Page of Pentacles reverse? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Gemini? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, and the Hangman. Exactly. So I feel like this is up to a specific person, this King of Cups. I feel like they are hesitating. They are hanging around with the Hangman. They're not really taking action. And I, I feel like there's an anxiety here. It's like they can't quite pull the trigger. Maybe they have no hope in things succeeding. The star reverse. Maybe there's too much to heal, to fix here. Tell me about the star reverse. Why is the star reverse here? Six of Pentacles. So this is about rebalancing, fixing something, giving, taking. Tell me more about the star reverse. Why is the star reverse? The four of wands. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like something is not working out for this person at home, perhaps, or there's they don't have the stability that they desire. Um, maybe they want a Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here, but there's a Three of Cups. I think there's someone else here. Queen of Wands, perhaps. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And this is part of the reason your person is undecided. Yeah, this is making sense. Nine of Pentacles and then the Six of Swords. So that's why. I feel like some of you Geminis, a lot of Geminis actually, at least on my channel, there's always like this block with a, with an, um, a third party or some sort of obstacle. So I feel like this person cannot give. They cannot give because of this Four of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Six of Swords shows up again. I think this person hasn't decided about this departure. They know they have to leave. They know they have to head towards you or go, go towards you with the chariot, but they haven't. And I think this is the only way to fix the problem. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. The Wheel of Fortune, my God, this is definitely a Gemini reading. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Swords. So why the Two of Wands? So we know that this is divinely guided. This is an opportunity that your person needs to grab. Is the Six is tied to a departure. Maybe it's a, the issue is with uh, timing. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe they just haven't seen that opening for this departure. Tell me about the Two of Wands, because I have the Two of Wands here, which is, like I said, choosing a path, a decision. Yep, Seven of Cups. This is someone um, evaluating their options, choosing a cup, making a choice. King of Pentacles. This person wants to make the right choice, I feel. Yeah, Seven of Wands. There's that obstacle. There's something in the way here for this person, or this person feels there's something in the way that they have to fight against. King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. But they want to make the right decision, or they're thinking as a king. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. And this is again about this new beginning, the cycle that needs to begin, a start of something new. It's like they have to fight for this new cycle, new beginning. Or they know that to have this new beginning, it's going to be a fight. Tell me more. 
Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Wow, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this would this would open the door. Yep, there's the world. So this is a very simple uh, reading, I feel. Tale as old as time for my Geminis. And I say that as a Gemini Sun and a Gemini Venus. Pray for me. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's issues here in terms of an outside party, an outside situation. And your person is struggling with the idea of pulling the trigger, making this change, having this opportunity be the opportunity they go after because it's going to cause a fight or there's a fight that would need to happen here. So, and what can you expect next? Let's, well, the chariot is reverse and the knight of wands is reverse. So I'm not going to sit here and sell you a story about someone taking action and going after you, Gemini, because it's not in the cards. All I see is potential for something to grow. But again, someone is stuck. Hangman energy over here. So uh, they, they're not making the moves necessary or they can't. Let's see. Tell me about the chariot. Oh my God, the tower. I cannot make this up. <laughs> Tell me about uh, the chariot reverse. So yeah, it would. It, 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 a tower needs to happen here is kind of where it's gotten. Yep. Four of pentacles and there's a three of cups again. The third party is a problem. I think what the story that I'm seeing here is that your person has probably already tried to disentangle themselves from this third party, but they're holding on. And so now this person may be thought that they'd be able to do this in, in the best way or in the most responsible way. But what's ended up happening is that there now needs to be a tower to disentangle themselves. It's not going to be an easy departure. And I think this person that just causes more worry, more anxiety. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, something has to end and change. And there's a Three of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel a third party is the issue here, Gemini, because it keeps coming up. Um, and normally I don't jump to that conclusion. Like, I don't jump to say third party all the time unless it's a situation like this where the third party just, this, this just keeps coming up. And the Four of Wands, King of Pentacles, tells me this person could even be in a marriage or in some sort of committed situation with a children, perhaps, or something like that. But we have Death here, Scorpio Energy, and we have the Tower. So I feel like there, there has to be some sort of big ending, big crescendo here that, that takes place um, for your person to move, to make a change. Knight of Wands is reversed. So the Knight of Wands, you know, there's this burning passion, but... They cannot make that move. They're prevented. And they're prevented because something has to end first. And this is a continuation. What was that other reading I just did? I believe it is how they feel about you from February 2022. Check out that reading. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. So you can find the Gemini playlist. Um... If this reading is resonating for you, you might want to check out that reading because I think this is a continuation of that. Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here for Gemini? Why is the Empress here? I feel like the Empress is like a beacon of hope. Tell me about the Empress. Yep, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. I think the Empress is a sign of the potential to come and I think the potential will be some sort of movement forward someone's going to be able to move the chariot was reversed here the knight of wands was reversed and now I feel like with this tower with this death card someone will be able to move and I think they're leaving this behind the ten of pentacles eight of pentacles after that okay that's a good sign too because it tells me that this person is actively working on something now remember, they're showing up as a King of Cups, King of Pentacles. So to me, these two correct characteristics are of someone very serious, very mature emotionally, and also feeling a responsibility, wanting to take their time, wanting to do things right. 
So I feel this person is working up the nerve or working on making this move with the chariot. Can I get one more for the Empress? Can I get one more? They could also, this could be a symbol for you, Gemini, this Empress energy. The, the goal, the, the trophy at the end of all of this is this person being able to be with their Empress, to move, make a move towards their Empress. Tell me about the Empress, please. Ten of Wands shows up again, and then the Seven of Swords with the lovers. There you are, Gemini. Gemini energy, and then Four of Cups. This person is very, very... Um... Oh, okay, so what I'm getting here is when they do come forward with this Page of Pentacles, which again is a very small offer, they fear rejection, Gemini. They also think that you're not going to trust them or that when they do show up, it's going to be with baggage or some sort of responsibility or situation that's not really completely finished. And so they're picturing that you will not trust this offer and possibly reject them for it. Um, and it could be uh, as well, Gemini, that the offer that you get or the offer you receive is maybe too small for you. With this page of pentacles maybe it's not the offer you expected or hoped for um, maybe this person um, you have some sort of i don't know inkling or some sort of um fear that they have hidden motives that they don't mean well or that something feels off but that's just the reality of the situation is that this person unfortunately when they come forward or when they make this move it had to be with the tower and with the death card. It was not a clean break. It was a difficult ending. And there's probably consequences tied to that tower that makes it so that they're not coming to you in their best, you know, in the best possible way that they can. I hope that makes sense. So they're very worried, Gemini, that you will not be interested in this and what the little that they have to offer, basically. So let's get some more insight into this person. Can you tell me more about this person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? Five of Wands, Reverse. Okay, so again, this idea of fixing things overcoming a conflict, overcoming drama, overcoming problems, king of swords reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have the tower reverse. Hmm. And then the magician. Okay, so when I see all of these together, man, I feel like your person, maybe they're going to start a tower, but it's not there yet. It's almost like this tower is delayed or blocked or they're not able to get this tower moving. Five of Wands reverse is the goal. That's what I'm feeling. But the King of Swords reverse and then the Magician. I feel like this person is silenced. Um, I'm not getting deception from this card. I will see in the extended because I'm going to clarify all of these energies in the extended and get a little bit more insight into your person in the extended. But from what I see here, I don't think that this person is being deceptive. It's almost like they cannot do something or say something. And the magician is telling me that there is an active participation from your person. Your person is trying to make something happen here. Can I get one more energy for this person that Gemini is has or will be dealing with spirit? What do we need to know about this person? And the extended, we're going to clarify all of these energies. And I also want to specifically look at your person's intentions or next actions. 
how they're thinking, feeling about you, about this whole situation. And I also want to get a little bit more insight into this tower because this tower, I feel it showed up twice. I feel it's important. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person's spirit? This person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? I know what love is because of you. Everything reminds me of you. Uh -huh. I know what love is because of you. They're comparing, Gemini. This person, wherever they're at, it's not love. Whatever they're dealing with, love isn't there or love has died or it's not the type of love this person needs or wants and i feel like that's why they keep coming back to you they just keep coming back to you gemini i don't feel you're with this person they obviously have another situation going on but they still keep tabs on you everything reminds me of you Everything, you know, they, 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 they always come back to you. So we'll look at the extended now and see what else I can get here for these energies. Especially this Tower Reverse. Honestly, it's the one thing that worries me a little bit because that just tells me more delays, to be honest. Or some sort of big block. And this Tower is very important. This Tower is like the catalyst. So... We cannot have this tower <laughs> not happen. 